Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Fallout 4, Nuka World, the realm of crashing games. Please stay together for one episode. Hi. What a glorious battle. You were magnificent. Thanks. I promised you a payment. This gun was passed down from the hub himself. Take great care with it. The hub was a person? Ooh, it's an alien gun. The critical shots do double on the critical. Okay, so it's a better alien gun. But otherwise, it's an alien gun. I need your help for one last thing. I need to get that spaceship powered up again. But we don't have any fusion cores. One shot, I, have I do. Some extra ammo for the hub's gun that I can give you if you succeed. I'll be glad to help. Good. Once you get it powered up, we can work on making it space worthy. Three fusion cores. Oh, but there's room for four. What would happen? But there's room for four. Where's the other thing? I need to get a power whatever. It's in this building? <gasps> no! <gasps> I don't think I've ever gotten the pie on this file. Lord knows I've gotten plenty of them on my other one. My luck is like 15, but... Oh my god. That's a treasure right there. Gimme! Holy smokes! Oh my god, on my first try. Can we move out before I start puking? Oh, I should have grabbed it when... Oh, I didn't even know what the hell it was. I'll take it. Oh, I was wondering where the rest of the raider... Oh, fusion core! What's the fusion core? How do we get the fusion core? Oh, that's why there's so many here. Because you need them for this quest. And a robot. Where did they all go? Where did the crazy wheel people go? Oh, here's some. Where's Leader Lady? I need to talk to her. I want to ask her about putting another core. What would happen? We are forever in your debt. Without you, we would not be on the path to redemption. The path of our destiny. Hey. Okay. My... Am I getting, like, if I put it, will I overcharge it? I kind of want to try. I'm going to put... I'm going to put four. I'm going to save. Do a quick save. So I have, Oh, there's a trunk there. I didn't even notice until now. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow, she's here already. Hi. The lights! It's amazing. You've done it. Into the spaceship, everyone. Is this an actual working spaceship? What is this? Start the right. Ultimate UFO. What kind of a ride is inside a UFO? Oh, it's a wall spinner! Oh, these are... Fun, and easy to get sick on. Uh oh. Never thought I'd live long enough. Is the four gonna be the fact that I put four gonna be dangerous for them? Everyone to the walls, please. Get on the wall, you dunce. You dingus. 
Okay. Everyone. What happens since I put too many cores? Oh, that's gonna make sense. It's very fast. Visions. I'm seeing visions. I'm seeing seizure warnings. Jesus. I don't even suffer from seizures. This is gonna hurt me. God, that seems very. What happened? Gage? 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 <laughs> Oh. They're... That was too much pressure for their wee little brains. God, different parts of them exploded. I'm sorry. Well, that's why we make backup saves. Okay, let's try it again, but without overdoing it. Get out of here. <laughs> Hubble. Hi. The lights. It's amazing. You've done it. Into the spaceship, everyone. We need to run it. So let's uh let's try this again, but without killing them. Can I just start it before they're even on? Oh wow. I hope you guys get secured in. Yeah, so these types of rides, if you've never been on them, basically the sheer force of the spin is keeping you glued to the wall. Someone's missing. Now, what are they expecting to happen with this ship, with the spinniness? Oh no, everyone's here, it's just one of them blended really well in with the wall. You. It worked. It actually worked. We couldn't have done it without you. Okay, how about those alien bullets you promised Excuse me? Excuse me. Here is the ammo I promised you as thanks for helping us to advance the hub's grand plan. We have a few months of work to do to prepare for our journey. Maybe more. Good luck with that. This thing isn't gonna fly. If you need an alignment, you know where to find me. I don't need whatever that is. What is an alignment? Eh. I'm not gonna start with these guys. If you need an alignment, no. you know where to find me. Ah, oh, fine. Okay. Humor me. If you need an alignment, you know where to find me. I found you. Tell you me. Alignment, okay, fine. What does that leave as far as quests go? I think that's everything except the two main ones. Let's head over. So this is where we're going to start branching off, I guess? I hear guns. Weird bird looking shithead. It's not a... Wait, it's not made of... The beak is like a, a claw from something almost. I don't know. It looks like a mantis claw or a cricket claw. Why does Nuka Town take so long to load? Okay, I think... So this is a splitting point. So I'm gonna make a hard save so I can come back to it. Well, I'm gonna do the bad ending first, I guess? Whatever the bad ending... I guess bad ending would be siding with the raiders. 
I'll do that first. All right. Well, look who it is. Look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. The gang certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you and Nuka World's favorite Cyclops are standing here, well, I suppose he expects you might be able to finally get things back on track. How long it taken to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Hey now, no convincing, just a friendly conversation between like-minded individuals. Hmm. Let's get one thing straight here. It may have been his suggestion, but it'll be I like how goofy I look telling that. Well, regardless of the source, ideas are good ones. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Mr. Evil Use Man. To my ears. Shank ain't kidding. This is gonna be all kinds of fun. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You wanna talk them off their land? Or you wanna write them out? I, uh, I think you know what I'd rather do, boss. Uh, get a gang together. Those settlers. If I'm going easy. evil, let's go full evil. <laughs> Stick with the classics. Now, once you and the crew have cleaned the place out, those lucky girls and boys will move in and start working the place. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. Mm. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang you want to join you on the job? Well, the disciples only have one place in this park, so we'll the use disciples. them. Yeah? Huh. Better bring a ton. I'm sure the ladies will be happy to get some blood on their hands. For a good cause, of course. Yeah, for any cause. That just leaves the target. Now, for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, The Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Hmm. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? I think. I'm ready. I think yeah. Taffington Boathouse so, would be a good one. What's the target? Yeah, I think Taffington Boathouse would be great. Let me. I don't think. Have I built anything in this file there? Wait. Pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Yeah. That one's the target. <laughs> Ruthless. So. These sorts of jobs are pretty straightforward. Move in, kill everything in sight. Jeez. I'll send a crew ahead to the settlement. They'll help you clear the place out. Take down any backup these folks managed to convince to throw in with them. Now you're not gonna be able to take a direct route to the place. Fast way to get yourself killed. So you'll have to meet our folks outside town. Wouldn't be surprised if some like Minutemen showed up to I was just gonna say this is like the anti Minutemen. See their faces when they see who they're going up against. Now, if you're looking for something to give you an extra edge, might be worth checking in with some of the gang bosses. I don't need any edges. 
probably got some trick or two up their sleeves. The crew that's joining you is just gonna have standard kits, though. If you want to arm them up differently, I'd take along some extra gear. Knock them dead, boss. What an excellent choice of words, you creepy bastard. Oh, the Commonwealth. Boy, I haven't been there in a while. See, why can't the statues be nice like that? They have weird noodly arms. Ugh. That was a fast load. Alright. Boathouse. So let's go to Covenant and work from there. Oh my god, the Rust Devils. I forgot about them. Oh. That was the first DLC. Automatron. God, that seems like so long ago now. Come on. Okay. Business is good. I don't care how business is, Lucas. Where are my soldiers? Did I forget if what I uh oh blood bug. Ooh. It's gone. <laughs> I forget what I did at Taffington Boathouse in this file. In my other one, it became where I grow or harvest insects. Hello. Hey, boss. I checked out what we're facing. We're all ready to carve up these idiots and their little friend. Want to move in? Yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Hell yeah. I should let you guys lead in, but I might hit you with this radiant, this kiloton rifle. Oh well, if they get hit, they get hit. You know, well no, that might aggro the entirety of the nuclear world. That would be bad. Oh, there's a lot of them. You guys deal with the one over there, I'll handle the ones inside. Wow, it was just all Minutemen. Where's this one? Oh, easy with the grenades, there's lots of vehicles here. It's weird shooting my own soldiers. Okay. What do we got? Build your gang signal flag using the workshop. Okay. Well, that's... What does the flag need? Oh, I have plenty of both of those things. This is the disciples. Oops. Oh, that was easy. Hey there. Hmm. Unimpressive, but I guess it'll do. The sooner we get some supplies coming in, the better. You can run along now. Go tell them how it went. Okay. Oh, man, I gotta go. Oh, this is, could be annoying. How many of these do I have to do before it lets me progress through the story for Nuka World? Am I gonna be dealing with Shank a lot? It takes forever to load, too. <laughs> I just want to pillage. Wait, pillaging? Or is it plunder? No, pillaging is destroying things. Plunder is taking things. Which I guess I'm doing both. 
Hmm. Come on with the load times. At least Shank's near the entrance. It's better than nothing. Well, well. Word going around is there's some new raider boss. Hey, Harvey. Up the <laughs> Not too shabby. This is damn good stuff. I'll make sure you're cut of any caps. The <laughs> Just gauge in the distance. It's not a bad start. So, now that we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two. Provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, oh, I don't give a shit about County Crossing. I might just to to capture them in the minute, anyways. To start handing over shipments of supplies, I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide will be waiting in your trunk up in Fizta. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to come. Up. Now, like before, the methods up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Why stop well, we just did violence. Let's try talking. Let me talk to them. I'll get them to hand over what we need. Sure, sure. So, which crew you want keeping an eye on the place once you get them to bend the knee? We'll do the disciples again. The disciples. Sounds like a plan. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. The slog might be a good choice to hit, though I'd have to confirm that's still the case. So, where do you want to hit? Let's do... Why can't I do the slug? Or Grey Garden. Hmm. Let's do County Crossing. They're bitching. Huh. Was that... That's not one of mine, is it? It is one of mine. Huh. I think that one's your territory, boss. Yep. That one's the target. Of course, boss. So... To get these settlers to cough up provisions, they need to know that we aren't a crew to be trifled with. You can try convincing them to pay up, or you could rough them up some. Let them know we mean business. Lizzie Wyatt with the operators ought to have some tools you can use to make things easier. Plus, having an outpost nearby gives us another option. Claiming the airway. Building a Nuka World radio transmitter at an outpost within range of the target will let them know we're closing in on them. Hmm. Your Pip Boy map should show you which outposts are close enough to serve. And if none of that works, well, I suppose you could always try paying one of them to convince the rest. And it's worth remembering the more populated or heavily defended a place is, the more prep work you're going to have to do to get them to bend. Just. Bring us back something nice. Well, I guess I'll get cracking on that in the next episode. This is weird. It's a cool mechanic. It's a completely different way to deal with settlements in this game. It really kind of like incentivizes anyone who wants to play as an evil character. Because before this, the best you could do is kind of like a morally gray character. You could play with the Institute and those shenanigans. But that didn't really count. But this is, this is evil. It's pretty cool. Cause the pack only runs with wolves. It's funny because you look like a piggy. Anyways, that's enough for this episode. We'll get to conquering more settlements in the next one. So thanks for joining me. Come back on the next step up real soon. But until then, bye.